This is a uh, camper caravan concept based on the Ford uh, Transit. This is the 2015 model. And uh, it's the 5 meter 40 length. Uh, that's probably around 17 feet. And why I choose this one is because in Europe, especially in southern Spain, uh, the small villages, if you want to drive through, it's easier with a smaller vehicle. And parking is easier as well as with a very large one. So this is an idea how to take advantage of the smallest space, uh, the best way I could come up with. So let's have a look. We can open up and then you can already see there is a lot of furniture in it. And uh, let's open it up and have a better look at it. So now you can see the setup and you wonder where's the bed. Well, the bed is hidden right here. And it's an, a Murphy bed that I saw once in an American Sprinter version. Very smart idea. Takes advantage of the space the best way you can even imagine. So you get everything in this camper when you get the shower, toilet, and uh, to use it, slide the toilet over like that to use the shower you go like this and then you have these sliding doors here and here let's make a little bit more space so we can see it better you see and as the fridge is in open position it would impact with the glass doors so to use the fridge keep the glass door open that works as well. Then as you can see with this design, you get huge amount of storage. You got storage uh, underneath here, but we can see that even better. We get rid of those gentlemen. You get loads of storage underneath the kitchen sink. It's 80 centimeters high, so it's a bit lower than standard, but uh, it, it will have to do. And uh, so let's get rid of this furniture to see what's going on here. So we got storage here, storage here, and probably we could add access doors to the back garage here if we don't use it from the back for tools and stuff. So you can see we even get a nice garage. Uh, the width is, let's have a look. It's almost a meter wide, so it's quite nice. And the hay here is 92. So a foldable bike definitely should fit in there. And then there's a lot of storage for other things. Okay, let's get on with it. So we can remove a lot of things to get a good look at the details. Now, the bed. How does it work? It's a Murphy bed. It'll fold down. And to fold it down, you only have to remove the upper backrests. Now, I do that by clicking on it, but you do it by hand <laughs> when you build it. And uh, of course, this doesn't have to get removed, but I remove it to see what's going on. For now, let's do it with the seats in position. You would only have to remove this and this cushion. And then this is an attachment point with a hinge. And this support is hinged. I didn't know how to animate the whole three items together. So I do it manually like this. This is the folded down position. As you can see, this is a slit, slit where this bed support will slide up. And this is what happens the bed comes down. It gets lifted up and pushed forward. And that is necessary because otherwise we would be 10 centimeters further in the room and lose another 10 of the space between the kitchen and this table. So as you can see, quite easy. No special mechanisms necessary. Uh, it should slide up and down quite nicely. 
I would amend, uh, uh, of course, this should have to be a, a metal rod, not wood. And let's have a look on top. You see, there is still space for the pillows and the and the bed cover and bed sheets. And all one has to do is use two straps to hold everything down so it doesn't slide in. But even if it did, you see there is a panel. It, it'll get stuck right there. Okay, so let's have a look. So there is huge amount of storage underneath these things because it goes all the way to the outer wall of the camper. So this could be a place for the batteries, water tanks, and then here again, huge amount of space. There is more storage here. I left this open. You see from here, this is probably 20 centimeters. Yeah, 20. So there is another place for storage and this could actually be made bigger, come out to here, but then the feet have a little bit less space in, in down here. So now let's look how the people get along in this space. Oh, the wrong button. Uh, here we go. Let's put the cushions back in and get the kitchen back in. Oh, there is a nifty thing but again, since I don't know how to do those animations, there you go. So this folds up and gives you more kitchen counter space. So you can see, oh, the table has to go back in its position. And this way you can see, this guy is one meter 80 high and he's got not plenty, but nice amount of space, acceptable amount of space. And we have to remember, this is the smallest camper van uh, based on a Spanish uh, uh, used, uh, what is it, an ambulance? Yeah, I think ambul they sell these ambulances quite cheap with the higher roofs, but they're only 540 long. So this would be an option for an entry version for somebody who wants to build his own. Okay. So let's get this closed and now let's have a look again at the bed. But now let's see how big it is. It's 150 by 190. And we have some sleeping dudes here that we can put on there. So you see these are the same big guys, 180. So that's 511. And they still got a little bit of space here and well, not really a whole lot of space down there but of course you can change this length here but then you might lose storage in here uh, that depends on each person's taste i think 190 is enough it's it's this camper isn't made to to live in uh, the year round if you wanted to this, this would be quite small but this is a great one week or weekend camper uh, with everything one could need. So let's put it back together and have a look. So this is how it looks when you're sleeping in it. Okay, let's put it back into the daytime use position, which is this one. And get my friends in here. All right, so this is an interesting concept and it isn't that hard to do because the bed mechanism, I thought it was going to be more complicated, but actually it's, it's quite simple. And it's adaptable to each one's taste as far as the, the length of the furniture goes. For example, this one looks like it's quite narrow here, but I checked and it's 48 centimeters, which should be enough to get in and out. Uh, I know volume is pretty, space is nice, but in this case, I'd rather have convenience and be able to store clothes, food, uh, my tools, uh, the, the stuff you need. 
and if we want volume up here we lose all these all these storage spaces oh yeah i didn't go into that point which is interesting that's this these two upper furnitures how they fold right in between here okay it doesn't fit now but it fits once the supplement kitchen counter is stored away oh so now something happened with the <laughs> sketch up definitions and it moved i'm sorry guys i don't know what happened i must have clicked somewhere let's do let's do a quick undo until it comes back i think there is the error something went wrong here okay so now let's see yeah it's still working yeah that's some weird stuff going on in sketchup when i did this now this should work and let's try again sorry okay so now it's working now it's in the correct position as you can see really nice up here and this furniture slides by right here and the other one the other one this is the countertop and this is the top end of the furniture so it avoids the bed from sliding forward but it can't anyways because there is a little stopper right here but i think you can even get rid of this stopper because the bed cannot really go anywhere so let me know what you think about this concept. Thanks for watching.